You can literally feel the whole house swinging, swaying on these pilings when the wind is caressing it. All right, it's 11.30 and we have a hurricane coming in and the tide, the tide is up, not good. There should not be water right there. started getting the hit of the uh, Hurricane Isaias. Now the lights just went. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's so hot and muggy. And, oh shit. It's bad. Lights keep going on and off. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> time for that. Ain't nobody got time for this. Right. Oh. What'd you say? Stop going around. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, you can't say that. There's a tree down in the street there. Well, I'm hoping those aren't shingles off of my roof right there. Yeah, lots of shingles. Yeah, we pray that this wasn't just a warm-up act for the hurricane season. What's amazing is the water actually came up to where I'm standing now. I'm hoping against hope that my dock and pier are okay. There is a uh, part of someone's dock that floated up on my neighbor's dock kind of third world over here <laughs> you know yeah. I've, been, in the street. I've been to countries where they do this <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. storm cleanup what a mess Can you imagine all the comments? <laughs> You're gonna burn the neighborhood down. <laughs> Let me tell you how to do what you're doing. You're burn your rake. Here's how to do what you did. Don't burn, don't burn my rake. <laughs> Miss Miss Monroe! Miss Monroe! <laughs> section of my I'm happy that it didn't float away that's, that's nice that's part of my uh, lift happy that didn't float away and my floating dock made it through the night See how high it was riding. See the little bit of damage up here? That means that this dock is trying to float up off of here. Wow. Not bad. The 
bird that made it through the night. That had to suck. And this is one of the biggest dangers after a storm is the, uh, are the power lines. Obviously the power is not on right now, but it could be restored at any minute for all we know. Hopefully it, it can. Uh, not likely. We don't know. We don't know how long we're going to be without power from this. There's a boat trailer up there on the, on the roof mat of that tree. And it's got a boat on it. Morning. Oh, Riley, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Well, I guess it could have been a lot worse. Oh, yeah. The little vent that I put up there is uh, looking good. I didn't recognize you. I, I <laughs> no, I, no, I'm so sorry. I just talked to, uh, to uh, my, I, my name is Felix. Uh, my name is Felix. Oh, Felix, I'm Jason. Oh, yeah, Jason. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, also, lots of nights. It's terrible. It's, it's horrible. It's, yeah. It's my first time to experience a hurricane like this. A hurricane is, is a scary thing, yeah. isn't it? All right, so my tenants have power. And now to open the street up so people can get through here without... Uh, I'm going to do so without dying on the power line, right? Uh, hi. Dennis needs me, so I'm gonna go over there. Thank you so much. So I've never waited so long for my morning coffee before. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh God. What do you need done? Well, I don't want you messing with it. There's a there's a tree on the line right there. You see it? And I'm trying to do a little surgery and get that weight off of that line. Cause you never know. That 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 might be a good line still. It's not broken off you know transformers look good and I've got these guys set up with power over here and I got I brought them the little grill okay. not not a bad hurricane but Dennis needs some help you want to grab that I got most of the weight with, well, I got some of the weight off of the power line. And what I'm gonna do is uh, remove as much of the top weight as I can before I mess with what I call the props, the limbs that hold it to the ground. Cause that's a heavy, a heavy tree right there. So if I get a lot of this weight off, then maybe I can cut back there. We'll see if I feel comfortable doing that. But. Why he's why he's leaving. All right, here comes the second stage. <laughs> second team coming in. <laughs> Wait, you're the second team. <laughs> can, can you reshoot this? I need to go shave. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Here. Come back in, in five. <laughs> That's the third team right there. Yeah, that, that's the one that counts. Right yeah. Good morning, Ron. How are you? Good. How are you doing? There's an ambulance through here, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's something. Here comes Mike. Another chainsaw. That's getting like Louisiana around here. <laughs> or, or, sorry, Mississippi. Either <laughs> one. Okay, here comes the supervisor now, Alan. Okay. Oh, wow. 
That's kind of scary that it's bouncing. But. Their shingles look pretty good, huh? Yeah, there are a lot of shingles in the backyard. Though. Yeah, that's from his house over here. The red, the green roof. So if we get power back, we're going to come over here and turn your generator Turn that off. one off. Yeah. And once that's off, then you stow that back on. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, brother. Sweet neighbor injured herself. Yes, she did. And she's in the hospital on the worst time mm. you can be in the hospital. Breaking my heart. This is her husband. Okay, so turn the main off. There you go. Now push that up and push that circuit over into the on position. This? Yeah. All right, now turn everything. Well, you should obviously. It's not, the main is off, but turn everything off now. That's an interlock. And you may see a video on our channel about that. We have one. And all that does is make it so that you can't turn the main on. But you see up there, and the generator's on. And vice versa. Alright. Does this mean we can turn we'll be, everything on? This means that we'll be making coffee in no time. Nice. At least that. And I'm going to bring Zhao Don that uh, little generator. Alright, so we'll get this thing going. You just have to plug it in to here to back feed my electrical panel. You all have probably seen the installation of this. Time to put the flag out, huh? All right. Let's put this in here. Right. So in the end, as we had hoped, the generator ran the whole house uh, all day. We were without power and in the evening it finally came back on. But uh, the generator worked as we had hoped it might. It's uh, 10,000 startup, 8,000 running watts. Uh, we run it on propane. We've never put gas in it. Uh, I have the, what are they, 70 pound cylinders, I guess. Um, Anyway, that one was not drained completely. I don't have a gauge on it, so I don't know how much propane was consumed, but I'm going to go fill it up. And I like to have a few of these around. Looks like, uh, looks like the beach came out, huh? Yep. <laughs> the beach is here in the parking lot. So that means, that means that it came over the top of the dunes. They're built up. Really look look at the sand is on top of the porta potties. Man, there's sand on the roof. Okay. Well, look how high it came. Yeah. Wow. Bet it's good surfing. Huh? Bet it's good surfing. I bet it is. <laughs> tell me your thoughts about the storm. <laughs> you tell me your thoughts do you, about do the you storm. Have power. <laughs> no, do you have power? No. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> We're creating our own power. Well, that's a shame. But once again, it's something wow. that could be a lot worse, right? 
our neighbors, one of our one of our favorite businesses locally. They just built these cabanas out here, and they did a good job. Hey, you know, last night I was thinking before we went to bed, and we still had power, and the wind was not as strong as it got. I was thinking about the birds and how hellacious it must be to be a bird up in a tree. What do you do, you know? And that wind and that rain is hitting you and then it gets up over 50 miles an hour. And then all of a sudden, I felt like a bird in a nest. Do you think they come in like hunker down, like down low? I don't know. I think they, they cling to a branch, but I don't know. But I felt like a bird in a nest up on these sticks, on these stilts. 